Yo, hello everyone. Want to take your website design to the next level with Elementor? In this video, I will guide you through the simple steps to connect Elementor with your WordPress in 2023. Learn how to get started with the best page builder for WordPress and start creating stunning websites. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. The first thing that I will need you guys to do is simply launch your browser and then there is two things that you have to do. First is having a WordPress website. Second is either, which is split on two options, either you want to use the free version of Elementor which is completely available in WordPress and the second option which is getting the premium version which is by buying it through Elementor principal website. So let's start with going to Elementor website and, and see like their own prices by going to the URL section, search for Elementor and from here guys, simply all you need to do is go to their website. So let's click on here and here it is. You can simply go to pricing and choose WordPress hosting or page builder plugin and here you will notice their plans. So here you will have uh, $60 for one pro website so you can use this Elementor plugin for only one website the other plans are like for the people who are going to use their own Elementor plugin on multiple websites for example this plan is for $200 for a year and you can use the same account of Elementor in 25 different websites and this one is for 400 and you can use it for entire 1k pro website and what it does it gives you like 100 plus basic and pro widgets 300 plus basic and pro templates and as you can see here woocommerce store builder so in case you had a woocommerce website that will give you the opportunity to actually edit that woocommerce and if some of you don't know you can't really change the actual layout of woocommerce so this will give you the opportunity to do that you can have landing page builder pop-up builder form builder marketing tools and premium support so this is for the premium version for us we will just go with the free version which you can find in the plugin section where uh, in the dashboard in your wordpress website so let's go to our wordpress website which is for me in my local host so i will go here and type wordpress login and i will type here my user and i think my password as simple as that now i already have elementor here so let me just go to install plugins and delete it real quick uh, so I'm going to delete the plugin okay and here it is it will be deleted in a couple of seconds uh, let me just do that other uh, submit and activate and here delete deleting okay right now let's go to add new so from here guys you will have two options as well either upload the, uploading the plugin which you can find in your settings when you create an account and buy it through here or you can just get it from here so search for plugins Elementor and here you will find it so as simple as that so here it is click on install now and then with a couple of seconds it will be installed and then after that activate the plugin on your website it is pretty easy in pr process so it don't take that much of time from you and focus click on active to, on activate to activate the plugin so here it is sorry and now give it a couple of time until it is fully loaded so here it is now you'll have to set up your account which is the account that you bought in your own elementor um, plan for me, I don't have one because I'm going to use the free version. I will just go ahead and click on skip. And then they will take me to the last step. And here we go. Now they will create the plugin layout for me. And this is Elementor. It has been added to our website successfully. As you can see, this is a page that we can edit fully through this menu, which is in the left. We can add inner section heading, image, text editor, video, buttons, and much more from the basic section, which is free version. 
For the Pro version, you will have more advanced options for posts, portfolio, gallery, log in, uh, navigation menu, animated headline, price table, and much more. You can go through this by your own and see them all. And here in general, you will find image box, icon box, star rating, uh, some kind of basic stuff that you will need in your website. They are completely free for this general. And here a site. So this site thing, you will need actually a premium version. The same thing goes for WooCommerce, as you can see. And finally here, WordPress. Here you can create pages, blog, custom HTML. Everything here is free as well. For example, if we try to drag something in here, we can go to text. So let's go to basic, drag a heading, just drag it and it will be added here. Let's go here and add something. For example, you want to divide this section. You can choose how you want to divide it. It is really useful guys, as you can see in pretty detailed. So you can customize your website entirely using this one and only plugin. And even like using the free version can give you really good and awesome results. So let's try to manage to create one page using Elementor. So here, let's try to add a big image. So I'm going to drag an image. Um, let's make it one section and then drag the image into it. So here we go, add the image here. And I'm going to choose it to be a thumbnail or medium large, something like that. And then drag here and choose the image that you want to add. So let's select this one. And as you can see, it has been added in the background here. You can even like add some kind of uh, stylus to it. So you can make it like so, max width. Um, you can add the height to it. Um, we can even make it in pixels if you'd like. And there we go. We are making it even like the shape that we want. So we are like completely adjusting it. And simply here, you can edit the opacity and the hover and the border type and the box shadow. This is for the image. Let's try to add a text, for example. So we're gonna go here and back here and let's try to add the heading over this image. So here we can make it in the middle. We can here change the text. So we're gonna make it through here and let's change it to hi everyone. We can even like, add to be like a function which is this text when you click on it it's going to take you to a website the same thing goes for this image guys so you can do that to anything so here you can just go to the link and click write whatever link you would like this text to take you to for example let's do here by now and we cannot make it take us to our shop this is just an example you can do whatever you'd like and whatever you think of and yeah, guys, I just show you like a couple examples of the basics that you can use in Elementor. I hope you like this video and see you guys in the next tutorial.